All right, first up this week, Lady Ada, okay. is a kit pack. That's right. Jen Fox uh, has a book coming out later, and there's a project pack that goes with the book. Uh, Jen Fox is a friend of the fruit. Uh, she's always doing really cool stuff, and it's awesome to see her publishing tutorials. Some excellent math videos on Instagram, too. She has great videos. Yeah. Uh, so this kit pack we put together for her to make it really easy for people who pick up the book to follow along. It's got a bunch of components and sensors and alkaline batteries and everything you need. Um, you can buy one now because we have them in the shop, or you can wait till the book is available and maybe we'll have it as a bundle. Next up. Next up, uh, from Digital Loggers, uh, these folks are really good at making cool PLCs and relays. Uh, we carry the four outlet relay, very popular, and they stock this, uh, what they call the tough relay. It's kind of neat because it's like, it, they kind of always, it's like a Galapagos Island. Like they take something that's like, you would be like, oh, it's just a uh, DIN rail mounted relay, but then it has like serial input and the USB. Um, and it's got current measurements and it can do ARTS 232 or TTL. Um, it's it's very durable. It's designed for very high cost. Yeah, it's a tough relay. It's a tough relay. It's got even the like you know military font thing going, sensor font thing on there. But one of the, some of the cool things is that, again that current measurement. You can measure the status of how much current is going through it. So it's not just a relay. It's, it's a like power management system. You can turn it on or off uh, remotely. You can hand, there's like ADCs. It's kind of like an all in one like microcontroller slash relay system. Um, very neat. Check them out. They definitely make stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Like this is sometimes I'm like, oh, this is just a yeah. thing. A lot of people make it. This is one of a kind. Um, you don't have to din rail it, but it does din rail if you would like that. And what I, another thing I like is um, little details. They make the internal blocks removable, so it's easy to plug. That is nice. Out. Yeah, All nice. right, the starter show tonight. Pledge you, Lady Ada, our team, our customers, everyone who makes this thing go is something we've been talking about all night. That's right. The DVI out. Pi Cow Bell. We're making more Pi Cow Bells. You've got a Raspberry Pi Pico or Pico W. You want to add stuff to it. Uh, these are the same size and shape. You plug it in and Bob's your uncle. You cool stuff. You can get video output. Um, Look at this. We have actually now, this Look is this. an Arduino demo. This is an Arduino drawing to a 320 by 240 uh, 16-bit color um, Look at this. frame buffer that is output over DVI, which means you can plug into any HDMI monitor. You got your Pico. This is the demo everyone likes. You want sprites drawing. You want uh, uh, flying testers. You want a um, after dark uh, our aquarium. We've got that as well. You want. Uh, yeah, you know, I want to zoom in. You on want this. to zoom in on the testers. I want to zoom in on the testers. Go into the testers. Zoom in. That's the aquarium. All right. Testers. There you go. Um, all output from the raspberry pi pico because it's got these pio and secondary core and you can have that do this dvi bit banging very neat so we've got support in arduino um that uses this frame buffer and this is all these demos written in arduino uh so that's it's in the pico dvi fork that's in the tutorial it, we also actually as of like last week have circuit python support as well so if you would like to have circuit python running on your pico or your pico w and also draw to a DVI HDMI monitor, you can do it. And we're trying to see people do like cool, weird things with it. Um, you know, we've got our all-in-one DVI feather. If you don't need the Pico shape, you want to use feather wings. But for those who have like a Pico or Pico W, this is like the right footprint. It uses uh, six, sorry, eight IO pins for the red, green, blue, positive, negative, and then clock. Um, it also has connections to the um, SCL, SDA, I squared C interface through HDMI, which means that you can read the EDID on the monitor, which is good. You can see like what kind of monitor is attached, although you can only really output 640 by 480, which is pixel doubled 320 by 240. Um, still really fun. I mean, you can like now very easily do. It's going to be our show. Display. Yes, we're in a fish tank. Um, it's much, much easier now than ever to display to HDMI monitors. It used to be you needed an FPGA to do this or like a VGA bit bank converter, whatever. Uh, all these demos work 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 really wonderfully easily, and like I said, Circuit Python support makes it super super fast. There are so many black rectangles in our lives that are off at all times. Wouldn't you want them to and, be and it's it's like it's untapped canvas. It's art that you could make yourself and just put. So we're yeah. we're, go, 
Yeah, we're, video synth demo. We're going somewhere where I know there's a screen. It, like there's airports, there's bars, there's hotels. We're going to we're going to be staying somewhere soon. It's going to be at a hotel. I don't want to see what's on the TV. I do want to see something on the screen that I that I make that I do. That's right. And so and it's hotel booth. hotel yeah. TVs yeah. are the ones that like you. Yeah, I don't right. I don't want the square there. I want to see this. I want to, I want right. I Art. want this. This is what I want. Uh, another so one of the things like why not just use a Raspberry Pi? These are instant on, like they turn on instantly. You don't have to worry about a disk drive. They're solid state. Um, so there are definitely, you know, there's analog inputs. Um, and you can use like I squared C very easily and connect yeah. like PWM and servos. Here's a picture of the product. I guess I should say that. One. Oh, yeah. This is what it looks like. So um, you will want headers to solder it into the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Uh, we have some suggestions and it uses a mini hdmi just fyi because the full size would fit doesn't it like literally was not enough space yeah. but we have mini hdmi to hdmi adapters and also mini hdmi connectors available so um check this out it's in the shop now okay and guess what that is right. <laughs>